two. And here we are. Good evening, goons and gaggle. Welcome. Welcome to episode five of Madness and Mercy. Wow. Can you believe that my investigators have lived this long? I can't. <laughs> um, well, that makes two of us, Gag. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it really, it really is a, a testament to your excellent role playing. Um, you're all already crowd favorites and favorites in my heart. Um, yeah, wow. Holy cow. Well, you know, much like last time, this is a uh, Mayfield is your oyster. The adventure has really just opened wide up. Um, you all can go wherever you want. You can do whatever you want. Uh, you know, you can not everything you might want to do may be the wise thing to do, Ooh. but the we'll we'll see. Ooh. It'll just, you know, that remains to be seen. <laughs> Am I? No, I'm not going to give out any spoilers. I'm not going to say any of that nonsense. Okay. Don't you dare. So, Stop teasing us, <laughs> not, Kay. not a word. Not a word. Oh, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Um, all right. Well, uh, I should, before we get started and before I forget, make note that we got some very exciting mail this week. <gasps> Yeah, we um, did. Our sponsor, C4 Lab, sent us all some swag. Uh, Goose, show Shwag. everybody your swag. Yeah, we got these sick, <gasps> sick Cthulian dice towers. And these um, beautiful trays. And these beautiful Ooh, trays. Two different colors. Yeah, and the really dice cool. tower fits right on the side of the tray, like so. Modular. And, uh, maybe we can all <laughs> give them a good uh, clickety-clack real quick. Give us a, Ned, you, yes. Ned, why don't you do it? I think you have the best... Uh, Yours is, is the most in frame. So All right, here we go. To, or like click, the clack, 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 clack. Closest to it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Wow. And I kid you not, I just rolled Ooh. a seven. Nice. <laughs> all right. So cool. for all That's... your random number generating needs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out these C4 Labs Dice Towers. And then, Labs Dice Towers. Ugh. Now, mine, unfortunately, I have to keep mine out of frame because I don't have a very good setup for it displaying it like all of my fellow goons here but i am going to very carefully pick up and show you we all got we all got the um the the crescent dice tray but as the keeper of arcane lore they sent yes. me and i also can't tilt it too much because i have dice on it but they sent me their extra large dice tray oh, yeah. their super cool oh, cthulian mama. spooky eldritch horror Ooh. dice tray which also fits the the dice tower so i'm gonna be rolling any dice that i roll tonight don't in forget. that and I'm going to very carefully put it back without knocking my mic if over. Or anyone anything else. wants to get some cool stuff like this, use the code Goon15, G O O N 15, for 15% <laughs> off at c4labs.com. Do That's I, right. Do Tyler, I recognize the voice of Tyler head. Cantor? Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, is that you in that C4 ad, ad, ad lab? Oh I God, knew he I sounded familiar. Oh that voice? Is that the Tyler Cantor? At the same time. I really. Normally, I Bro, can do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're all really grateful for what we received. So yeah, I mean, if, if that stuff looked appealing to you, they have tons of great stuff. So head on over to C4Labs.com uh, and check out their stuff. Thank you for sponsoring mm -hmm. us, friends. Yeah. And, Absolutely. Yeah, big, big shout really out and big cool thank you to folks. C4 Labs. Yeah, we, we just had a it's happy true. hour with them and we're hanging out for a bit and they're really good folks too. Excellent. So yes, um... Also, while I'm talking about people who are helping us out on stream, uh, sound by Sirenscape, uh, as, as ever. Now, uh, you, as we know, I love to start these streams with just a little bit of like a little bantery moment, sort of get us into the mood. Um, I couldn't really think of anything spooky themed this week. So, uh, Goons, what song is stuck in your head right now? <laughs> oh, jeez, you did I, that on purpose. I have one. Go ahead, Dan. Watch me whip. Watch me, Nana. -na. <laughs> Watch me whip, whip. Watch me, Nana. -na. <laughs> we found this video. Dan linked this video of this awesome It's like this all white choir doing now. Watch oh, me no. whip. Now watch me nay nay. <laughs> that just shouldn't be allowed to happen. Oh, no, God. I appreciate the commitment. Okay, they were crushing it. <laughs> Okay. Let's right. dance, Ned. <laughs> we'll take. It. Okay, sorry. I'm so. I'm so sorry. I take it back. Hashtag canceled. Uh, not again. <laughs> canceled. Not again. Uh. <laughs> it's funny. I actually had a series of songs stuck in my head all day at work today. I was singing. Uh, These yes. eyes are crying. You know that, that song? song? Ooh, oh yeah. yeah. Like These eyes. <laughs> Ooh, that's a great song. These eyes have seen a lot of love, but they're never gonna see another one like I had with you. Damn. Ooh. Serving it. Oh, 
just like keeps yes. keep changing up. It's so good. I love that song. Amazing. <laughs> um, but now I have. Well, there's your. But now uh, the most recent one is now that I have the the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy theme yes. song stuck in my head because we were talking about it right before we started streaming. Uh, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> 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 Trevor, you've been given a gift. Oh, that's oh, my brother! Hey, hey. hey. oh, hey. Trevor's brother! Yes, he's in the house. Awesome. Um. Anybody else? What's what's bopping around your what's what's bopping around your dome right now? I had to do a bunch of reading today. The the goons know this, but I I read to the Last of Us one and two soundtrack. So I just have like set, I just have like melancholy, like six string bass music playing in my head. But it's it's okay. it's appropriate. It is, yeah. No, I think that suits it very well. Mm-hmm. Dan wants to know if you're okay, Campbell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Are you Who, okay? Me? Is the question. <laughs> <laughs> and there's your answer. Well, uh, uh, Tyler, anything anything uh, yeah, stuck I in your head today? Got, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Oh, Ooh. that's such a good song. <laughs> that's a good one. That, Mazel tov. Oh, that, I remember listening to that in the car on the way to my high school graduation. <laughs> it's like being Who's like, it doesn't get in. Oh, yeah. This is Jessica. peak living. Yeah. That's, what, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> we'll so never get sense. old. <laughs> We're going to be young forever. Um, so I, I have this, this, this terrible thing happens to me on a, on an incredibly regular basis, which is that I will get not only, I mean, I'm lucky if I have a song stuck in my head. That's like, that's me on my best day. Normally what happens is I get like one bar of a song that I don't really know stuck in my head on loop (laughs) and it just plays. And so you're sitting there being like all day, (laughs) all day. My personal theory is that you can only get a song stuck in your head if you don't know all the lyrics to it. Oh yeah. That's your brain trying <laughs> to get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anecdotally, it seems to make sense. Yeah. So I also, that's Science. also the reason, um, that's the reason I hate running so much. Mm. Like as, as a form of exercise, I prefer like swimming or cycling, but like the, the rhythm of running, it's almost like I start hearing the tone in like my breath and my footfalls. And then that becomes like a tune that just repeats in my head and just drives me insane. And then I just want to stop running. I know what so you mean, me Every time I run, I just go, ooga chaka, ooga, 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 Maybe I should try that next time. I can't stop. Maybe I should try that next time. Because, yeah, normally, normally it just tortures me. Um, but today, today must be a good day because today I do have a lot more than one bar of a song stuck in my head. I still don't know the whole thing. And it actually, to its credit, it's a somewhat repetitive song. So I suppose it's kind of a middle ground. But today I have 16 Tons by Tennessee Ernie Ford stuck in my head. And I have all day. Do you guys know that song? Give us a little Anybody? sample, please. I don't know that song. It was on a, well, I can't sing as low as Tennessee Ernie Ford. He's like, he's got this booming baritone. But he sings it, uh, they, they used it in an episode of South Park not too long ago. Um, <laughs> because it's all about this guy who, well, okay. So the, um, uh, 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 uh. It's like, some people say a man is made out of mud. Uh, the working man's made of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and hey. flesh and bone. Oh. Uh, a mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You move 16 oh. tons. What do you get? Uh, what do you get? What do you get? Um, uh, I don't know. Tons is a lot, I'll you move you. 16 tons. Oh, oh, oh. Another day older and deeper in debt. Uh, oh, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, it's de- it's depressing. <laughs> but it sounds correct to me. <laughs> it is depressing, and it's but it's such a good song. It's, it's really good. I've been listening to it a lot. Though, I think. Yeah, I actually I think the reason it like spoke to me so much is that it really like reminded me of the lumber mill. It's all about it's a song about yeah. like the working man working and how man. he's yeah and, and like you know the, the whole thing like I moved sixteen tons. That it's it's so like. He says, like, one of the verses is, like, I woke up, uh, I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine, picked up my shovel and went to the mine. It's, like, it's so, Yikes. it's, yeah. like, oh, God, it just, it hurts. Yikes. It hurts. Yeah. Um, so that's what's been stuck in my head all day. In mines. No, no. <laughs> so, by all means, go ahead and listen to that. It's on Spotify. Um, and it's just really good. Anyway, yeah, so that got stuck in my head. Um, I have. So, um... yes, go ahead. The, it's a song by the Inkblots, 
uh, um, what the heck is it called? But it's it, 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 you, you prep better from the theme song for Fallout, Fallout Three, which is I don't want to set the world on fire. Love I just want to start a flame. Aim in your heart. Wow, you are really good yeah. at that, like, old-timey radio <laughs> voice. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was, that was really impressive. <laughs> oh, shucks. No, it's fire. a good one. It's a good one, and it, and it like, it has, like, a boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. I, I know... I know I, I know I joked a few weeks ago about it's just like whenever anybody says that someone was born too late, they're always wrong. But I think yeah. actually genuinely you were born too late. Like you should have been a musician <laughs> in that era. Oh, uh, look at this tweed suit. Yeah, I would have fit there in. There you go. Yeah. I can't fit, fit in, in the perfectly. suit, but I would have fit in the time period. I'll tell you that. Uh, I just want to shout out real quick. Better than H said, and because I love this quote from Always Sunny, but he said, may I interest you in a bingo card in this trying time? <laughs> 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 Absolutely. That's yes, really everyone get out your bingo cards. Buddy. I think we've already probably uh checked some out. Um so I didn't really I wasn't thinking too much about the horror genre today, but I did uh I have a surprise for all of you. <gasps> get out of here. For all of you what? goons and all of you gaggle in the chat. I um I did a little I did a little ritual today. Oh, no. I I made a circle. <laughs> of salt no. on my kitchen floor no. with a pentagram in the middle. Hey, no! I told you! I lit told five... You we were all gonna die. Bad I lit five candles at the point, each point of the pentagram, and I stood in the middle, and I uttered a little chant to yogg Sothoth, which I won't repeat here because it's very dangerous. Oh, sweet Christ. And I passed... And then I passed out. <laughs> I passed out. Um, and when I woke up, this was on the floor next to me. Uh, ah! Is that a poo? What is that? It's, no! Is that a pickle? No! pickle? No! 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 It's the snickle! No! What no! <laughs> is that? No! It's a snickle! It's a snickle. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> So that that was what was bestowed upon me. <laughs> was the blessing, the blessing of Yog Sothoth took the form of this terrifying snack. I'm pretty jealous. And yeah, there it is. In case any, case, in case anybody missed it, there it is. I would eat that right now in a heartbeat. It looks looks delicious. Yeah. Well, here's, a little whiskey in it. Good to go. Here's here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. Not the snickle. We need a review. I was just gonna say, if we if we get a hype train, Ooh. I will take a bite of this nickel. Of course in the East case. And I see three people right out of the gate. <laughs> three people need a subscription. <laughs> oh, I should have uh I, I should have raised the bar. That's oh, too low. Holy <laughs> Sigmar bless this ravaged nickel. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, okay. In our discourse, Ace Case has given a gentleman review of Snickle, and their review yes. is that the crunchiness of the pickle doesn't go well with the crunchiness of the peanuts. Well, wait, I'm sure. Know? I'm sure. You'll have to let us okay. know. I, it was like no, I, admit it. I will. Exactly I will. Why are there peanuts in there? Uh, I like how Tyler's all behind this. He's like, I'm dude, yeah. I'm <laughs> like all about it. I bet it would actually be pretty <laughs> good. At the end. Snickle, you're just well, so left with peanuts and like yeah, see, I don't know. I, I, I love a Snickers. I thought it looked yeah, go, like sorry, a go delicious ahead, deli sandwich tucked into a pickle. Which sounds amazing. Looks amazing. Oh, Tyler, do you, it, do you well, need to I see it again? It, it's it's not, a Tyler, Snickers it's bar. It is not. It's a Snickers uh, bar. It's a Snickers okay. bar. Look at that nougat down there. at the bottom. That's a snickle. <laughs> I thought that was like, like chunks of cheese and meat in there. No, it's a snickle. No, that is <laughs> nougat. Nope. That is a nougat. Oh no. Oh, oh god, it's happening. Oh baby. Hi, Trey. Hi. Why did I set? Why did I set the bar so low? More subscription. To Come on. And you're gonna eat that snickle. <laughs> oh, it's my own damn faults. Come it's my on. own damn faults. Oh, See, this is. I think we did it. Kids, this is why. Trey this is why you should never do uh, oh, eldritch rituals in your kitchen. 
Oh, 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 my god. Guys, that took like, that took like 30 seconds. I am disgusted with all of you. All right, here we go. Here it comes. Uh, hoisted on her own <laughs> petard. <laughs> How accurate. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. to know what did we learn okay why do why do we you know why do we fall um well <clears throat> uh if i were to write uh, a food review for the snickle the headline would be it's not good <laughs> um so it's so it's it's such a That's strange a sensation it's such a strange sensation. It's it's a it's the the textures are obviously you know it's but uh, but here's here's like the overarching theme of the whole thing is that like usually when you put several ingredients together, they kind of blend. You know they like bring each other out in a certain way. Uh -huh. A Snickers bar and a pickle are so drastically different that <laughs> it's like it's like a seesaw in my mouth. It's like one second I taste pickle, <laughs> the next second I taste Snickers, the next second I taste. That's gotta go on the it's... Wait, wait, it's like, like, a okay. it's like a seesaw in my mouth. In my mouth. Yeah. I have one more question wow. for you, Kay. I have one more question. Hit me. Hit me. That is fun. Oh. <laughs> 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 gotta have a snickle. Um, uh oh, uh, Labs just said they're gonna go get a Snickers and a pickle and try it. Oh, no, no, no. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. Paris, don't do it. <laughs> Do it, Paris. I don't recommend Do it. it. Oh, damn it. You know, it's it's uh, not good. You know, I, oh, I'm not crazy delightful. about like I'm not a big candy bar kind of gal in general. Mm -hmm. Like I like I like you know I'll, I'll I enjoy candy as much as the next person, but it's just you know it's not something I generally reach for. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, what does the aftertaste like? <laughs> however, no, I I mean I well actually actually to its credit. Pickle juice is very good at getting aftertaste out of your mouth, which is why a pickleback is That's such like a fun yeah. thing to do. It's incredible. So Absolutely. there's not really any aftertaste. I also like downed my beer after I drank it because I needed to. Um, so yeah, no, it's 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 as if it never happened. Shoot. I don't know. I don't know how we top yeah. that. That's, 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 that was horrible. Good night, everybody. No, we'll see you next Wednesday. That's <laughs> next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, I will eat a snickle. All right. And, uh, <laughs> I, I don't just, recommend it. So, okay, I just can't believe none of us knew you were going to do that. What a do yeah. <laughs> and what a setup. What, well tricky. done, well done. Well, the only way that you get so a enjoy. snickle is you have to say a prayer to Yog Sothoth. Mm. That's the only Plus way. Plus the, the salt circle and the candles, like it's a whole right. thing. Right. So yeah. next week, whoa, me and Tyler whoa. How on did Wednesday. I Join me, Tyler. Come with me to the dark side. Uh, if I can add whiskey to it, I'll do it. Oh my god. I mean, if we're gonna go for it, like, absolutely, it, right? absolutely. Listen, a snickleback? You're gonna do a snickleback shot? Yep. A snickleback? Oh, a oh, snickleback. You have to eat a snickle while there it listening is. to Nickelback. Yep. <laughs> Look at this snickle back. <laughs> Look at this I really wish I'd been. Look at this snickle back. This is so fucking close. It's inside a pickle. <laughs> oh keep going, Trevor. Golden, keep going. Oh, oh my word. I'm turning red. All right, should we, should we, all right well, let's do something yes. slightly less horrifying and fight an elder god. Yeah, yeah, I need a palate cleanser after that. <laughs> hey, hey, I just want to say this. Mm -hmm. You're really brave. 
You're really brave. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Dan. Great. You that did that for the gaggle. You did that for the goons. I did. Bless I did. you. I did. I did. It was all for you. It was all for you, Damien. It was all for you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Atlanta. And now for oh, something boy. completely different. <laughs> yes, let's, for that something completely different, thank you, Ned, for taking us out of that moment. Um, why don't we go around and uh, let's let's do a little reintroduction of our characters. I'm going to start, I'm, I'm going to go down first. We're going to ask Tyler. Tyler, tell us about uh, yeah, Benny you Kaplan. Know, uh, Benny Kaplan, the uh, Philly-born boxer, uh, grew up in the, the Jewish slums of Philly, protecting his corner. Uh, pretty ugly guy, you know, he grew up fighting, so uh, wasn't the quickest guy, so his eyes are a little lost scar tissue on his face his nose is nice and crooked uh yeah not not the smartest guy either but you know if benny tries to do right by his family and uh yeah, we'll see what will happen yeah he's, he's got a he's he knows what he's good at he's got a certain mm -hmm. set of skills and he, he knows what they are mm -hmm. absolutely all right let's see let's go now to uh, my uh, I'm just gonna say my my east. We'll go we'll go eastward, east to Boston, for uh for oh I pointed the, I pointed the wrong way. <sighs> it's okay. It's the snickle. You you're dealing with a lot. The snickle. That way. The snickles. That, that way. I meant I meant that way. Hey. Let's go east. Let's go east to Boston. Who knew? And let's hear about alcohol. Gotcha. Boston. <laughs> well, the beer I washed it down with does. <laughs> let's go east to Boston and hear about Dicky Harrow. Trevor, tell us about your investigator. Hello. Uh, Dickie Harrow, uh, born in Boston, Massachusetts, uh, went off to make the world safe for democracy in the Great War, and was re rewarded for that effort by catching one in the in the eye in the Spring Offensive. And now he has a prosthetic face uh, that covers uh, half of his uh, his nice. one of his eyes and part of his uh, lip. Uh, fun fact about uh, about uh, Dickie is when he. You know, when he left Boston after coming back from the war and he came to Mayfield, the reason that he is the uh, the phantom of the cinema, so called, is because uh, as uh, old man Pearson is the only one who would hire him, only one who would give him a job because of his disfigurement. So, uh, you know, that's why I wanted to rescue him from that telephone pole last week. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he's he's the the one who saw something in you, something he was able to look past your your somewhat off-putting and and occasionally disturbing dis, uh, uh, visage. Marker um, mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you could see beyond the marker. Mm -hmm. You could see you could see uh, further inside. <laughs> um, not only inside to the you know the wound and the scar tissue beneath, but then further but inside. To my heart. Exactly. To your to your heart. To your heart. Mm. Your heart. Mm. All right. Uh, now let's actually go to my west and point west, and I will ask Campbell O'Hare to describe uh, Sweetie McClintock. Oh, me? Reintroduce Sweetie. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, yes, indeed, Sweetie. Sweetie McClintock, originally from Kinston, North Carolina. Uh, fun fact. I like I like that, Dickie. Uh, fun fact about Sweetie is uh, she got her nickname, Sweetie, back in Kinston. Because uh, when she was real young, like eight years old, she started working in the local candy store, Country Confections. And, uh, and so she's always had a pension for entrepreneurship from a very young age. <laughs> uh, housewife turned uh, budding, multi-level marketing uh, situation with the California Perfume Company. <laughs> Um, speaking of, has anybody been watching Lula Rich on Amazon Prime? Uh, uh, what's that? Uh. It's like a it's like a four part documentary series about the people behind Lula Row, which is a infamous multi level marketing company um, that made uh, that makes women's clothing that's all like very brightly patterned and just horribly constructed. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's all about their their rise and fall. Anyway, um, fascinating. Check it out if you get the opportunity. Let's go to my south. I guess that's my southwest. Let's hear from you, Dan. Let's tell ah. us about uh, Hugsley Lacker. Hugsley, who uh, who realized last week that he had places to be. He had other he had other things to do. <sighs> oh, you're breaking my heart. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> this, this is really hard for me. Um, Hugsley Lacker. Uh, 
Hugsley Lacka, he's a Southern boy. Uh, he's uh, always been drawn to his studies. His family uh, was from the South. He lived in Harlem for quite a bit, but his family's roots go all the way back to New Orleans. And he's a depth psychologist in the city, brand new, super nervous, a little, little tight, but he's super excited and energetic and always forgets that he has obligations and seems to just up and disappear. <laughs> But he's here now. And also, occasionally low blood sugar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> occasionally low blood sugar. A little anemic. <laughs> a little no, bit anemic. We, we, all, we all have our demons, you know? Straight but we're working. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Um, Dan, do you have... This was not something I... It, this is a pattern that, that my players have established, and it's not something I was intending to ask, but do you have a fun fact about, about Hugsley? Uh, it's okay if you don't. I wasn't no, going to course, ask about him. But... Of course I got a fun fact about Hugsley Laka. What you talking about, Kay? What you talking about? about? Forgive me. <laughs> uh, a fun fact about Hugsley Laka. Um, you you uh, might have seen it in some of the previous episodes, but um, Hugsley Laka, he used to have a photographic memory when he was younger. And he lost it, uh, you know, getting older, you know, them, them stem cells aren't what they used to be. I, I'm also not in a, a doctor or anything. I don't know if that's how stem cells work. So, so this is probably a long time. <laughs> I'm sure Trevor knows. Trevor's probably taking notes. He's like, I'll tell Dan this. <laughs> but so, what Hugsley does now, he does actually still have a really good memory. But what he does now is he pairs sensations with with uh, memory recall. And so if there's something that's really important to him, he tries to anchor himself in the moment through a sensation, and then uh, he can pull up a memory. Very cool. Very cool. I should probably, you know. Maybe I should try that when next time I'm trying to remember somebody's name. <laughs> or next time you're trying to recall what that snickle experience was like. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> God, no. I will, I will happily forget that. Uh, <laughs> it's honestly it's something pickle. What? You really you don't need to, you really don't need to experience it firsthand. Just remember what a pickle tastes like and remember what a Snickers tastes like. It's just that. There's you don't get they are they are not greater than the sum of their parts. They are exactly the sum of their parts. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the science behind that. I think I maybe they are. I do. Okay. <laughs> but you know I how tried. they say like certain parts of your tongue are better at tasting certain things like one section's good for bitter, another's for sweet. Maybe You know, I've heard I've heard that but I've also heard that it's not actually true. Yeah, I think well, let's not listen to those other people that say it's not true. Okay. I would have like, I'm maybe, sorry, I would have bet my life that was true because uh, that's all I remember in school is the color diagram <laughs> of the tongue and everything being labeled. <laughs> I, I would have thrown yeah. down on that. Tyler, Tyler really I, looked at those tongues. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so so first of all, first of all, what were you saying, Dan? And then I have I would, a question for all of I you. I was saying maybe it was like a seesaw in your mouth because it was only hitting certain sections of your tongue and you needed an even dispersal of the snickle on the whole so palate. So I should or, make a snickle smoothie is what you're saying. <laughs> wait, wait, time out. I'm just gonna say that this has come up on the Discord in Ace case, as, I swear it's my best friend. They were like, isn't that just chocolate relish? <laughs> Oh God! Ah. Oh, don't say I that mean, again. I might throw up. You're not wrong. That's cursed. <laughs> yeah, no, it was pretty much that's cursed. Yeah, that's that that was very cursed. Closet. Stay there for the rest of its existence. Um. Well, here's here's my question for everyone who believed really hardcore in like the tongue diagram and where different flavors registered. Do you remember back in school seeing umami anywhere on that tongue? Mm-mm. No. Listen, yeah, science no. is always evolving. It's all exactly, evolving. exactly, and we've moved past the like different parts of your tongue get different taste sensations bit but let's go last but not least uh to my southeast hey. God, wrong pointing again southeast and let's let's hear from uh let's hear from you uh mr buddy wilson hey buddy deadeye wilson 52 195 pounds of just old muscle uh yeah he's uh you know he's not living the great life He's not not here for a long time. <laughs> um, yeah, but absolutely. yeah, I think uh, I think I think stuff's gonna go down tonight. He's uh he's made of muscle and blood and flesh and bone. Yep. 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 Pinkerton agent. Uh, definitely not 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 always a good guy. 
not always a guy who's doing the best thing. That's true. Doing doing the best for you know where he is. He just he happens to work for some people that are uh, have a bit of a history of spitting on the little guy. Yeah. But maybe Ew. underneath maybe Gross. underneath that gruff exterior, he's got a heart of gold. We don't know. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Yeah. Huh. Let's do it. Yes, let's get into it. So, um, yeah, so l- l- let's uh, let's recap. What have what have we learned? What what happened last time? What are some important things um, that uh, the to to your experience as your characters may have happened? Anyone, go ahead. Teaching's really hard. I'm sure. I'm sure. That, that's what Hugsley learned last episode. That's it. Yeah. All those young minds. Uh, they spend so much money to be here, and it's almost like they just don't want to learn. So we uh, we got Old Man Pearson off of that telephone pole. And then canonically invented the television. Indeed you did. Uh, <laughs> and then we uh, we went back to the movie theater, sort of discussed uh, what we had learned so far and decided that something was definitely up, up in mm-hmm. this town and we should, we should farm a party <laughs> and uh, see to it that no other weirdness takes place under yes. our watch. So uh, we sort of geared up and we were going to wait for nightfall to go back to the barn. Mm-hmm. Um, so we took care of some other business, uh, including going by the uh, uh, the mm-hmm. church, uh, at where we, I think that was where we left off. Uh, we went to go speak to the, the father, but we ran into a yes. familiar face yeah, we there. Went first, oh, yeah. first, we went by the McDermott house, uh, because, because I had told y'all about Gladys uh, getting snatched. And so we went by yes. the McDermott house and found that nobody was there, including mm-hmm. Arthur. And then mm-hmm. we went by the church to see the father. Arnold. Ar- Arnold F. <laughs> did, I s- F- did I say Arthur? Fuck. You did. It's okay. But it's honestly, it's fine because I am only correcting you because I've had to correct myself so many times Arnold. with the exact same mistake. Arnold. That's Arnold fine. McDermott. Yes, indeed. We went by the church because also we had learned that there was a sermon that the that the that Father Fitzgerald had given about a week ago, I think, uh, mm-hmm. that was a, a little disturbing. Some people seemed really into, but some people uh, seemed to be off put by about uh, you know some some people being heathens and some people taking dominion over those people. It uh, yes. it, it was a little uh, it was a little spooky. Yeah, yeah, had some expressed some uh, let's say dated viewpoints. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Leviticus is one of the good. oldest books. Mm-hmm. Leviticus is one of the oldest books of the Bible. It goes Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. It's the third one. Um, so it was written a very, very long time ago. And then uh, my favorite. Oh. Is- Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Also, we know just just an extra tidbit. We know that it was a truck that grabbed Gladys. Uh, yes. which is which is a, a clue to note yeah a little bit, of, bit a little bit of a tip off as to mm-hmm. who might have done the the mm-hmm. snatching mm-hmm. but now we're Excellent. at church we indeed sure we are. are so uh so before we before we dive in let's go ahead and take a take a little moment get ourselves into the mindset of where we left off the the spooky goings on that have been that have been occurring um yeah, let's let's just you know envision your characters. Try to see them in front of you. Mm. Just visualize taking a step forward and inhabiting their body, their minds, their neuroses, their psychoses, their sanity scores, <clears throat> if you will. And then I'd like to open this week with a flashback. We see blinding lights, and we hear the din of a roaring crowd. We find ourselves in a dingy arena as the sounds of a boxing match rise above the cheers and boos. We hear shuffling feet, loud thuds of gloves hitting bodies, and the grunts of boxers. Benny Kaplan stands near the center of the ring as his opponent dances around him. He takes punch after punch, failing to match the speed of the other fighter. But what he lacks in speed he makes up in power and size. His opponent lands a punch to Benny's jaw, but Benny reacts quickly, far more quickly than the other boxer expected, as Benny takes the hit like a brick wall and lashes out with a hit to the ribs that sends his opponent reeling into the corner. Benny closes in on him, taking punches to his face the whole way, swinging wildly. 
Each swing is like a cannonball, but they're slow and they're predictable. Benny takes more punches, thrown with speed and accuracy around his devastating but inaccurate haymakers. Benny manages to land a hit. One is all he needs. His opponent's upper body snaps back over the top rope and slumps to the floor. Knockout. The only way Benny knows how to win a fight. The noise of the crowd rises to a cacophony as the ref checks the floored boxer, then grabs Benny's gloved hand and lifts it into the air. The bell rings. Benny smiles broadly, blood running down his face. In a dimly lit locker room, we now see Benny, again, cleaning the cuts on his face with his hands still wrapped. He dips a cloth into a bowl of water and washes the blood out of his eyes. Three men walk in, wearing suits with high-necked shirts and ties. The man in the middle slowly claps his hands. Benny Kaplan, the kosher king, that was an impressive showing, Benny. Who are you? My name is Salvatore Todaro. Mm. Pleased to meet you. I've heard of you. They call you Black Sam. I hate that name. It makes me sound like some kind of a demon. I'm just a man from a shit town in Sicilia who managed mm. to get out. Oh yeah? And what does some guy from a shit town in Sicily want from me? I just want to help you, Benny. You've made a name for yourself. But it seems like you can't win a match without taking a lot of pain. Yeah, used to it. You don't have to get used to it, Benny. You've got a fight with Charlie Coletti coming up. There's a lot of money in it for you. And all you have to do is don't knock the kid out. If I don't knock him out, I'll lose. I didn't say anything about winning or losing. Just don't knock him out and you'll walk away with far more money than if you don't. Benny puts down the cloth and he stands up, getting face to face with Totoro. The two men flanking him slowly bring their hands to their sides inside the I know I'm not the smartest guy around, but I ain't stupid either. I know what you're asking me to do. Just think about it, Benny. I'd hate to see you have to keep patching up your face for the rest of your life. I'll see you at the fight. Totoro hands Benny a clean cloth, then turns and walks away. The two men stare at him for a moment, then turn and follow Totoro out. It's one week later. We're back in the ring with the same cacophony of cheers and boos filling the arena. Benny is standing in the center of the ring again, taking hits after hits from Charlie Coletti, who's dancing around Benny. Salvatore Todaro is in the front row, with the same two men sitting on either side of him. He smiles broadly as he watches the fight. Coletti lands a hit square on Benny's cheek, then backs off, taunting him. Benny's face screws up in frustration. Coletti dances back in, fainting left, but Benny anticipates it. He launches a quick jab that takes Coletti right in the jaw. His head spins around and his body turns to a sack of potatoes underneath him. The bell rings, and the ref lifts Benny's hand into the air. Through the blood running over his eyes, Benny looks down and sees Totoro, who frowns and slowly shakes his head. Blackout. Oh, shit! Bravo! 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 Yeah, it was a. Atta boy, Benny. Well done, Kay. Investigators. You have just entered the Church of St. Philomena. The Roman Catholic Church in Mayfield, Ohio. Upon entering, you saw, up near the front, Father Fitzgerald. A few other people sitting in the front pew, watching him, perhaps waiting for an opportunity to speak to him. And a man, doubled over, sitting in the pew, crying, sobbing heavily, as Father Fitzgerald lays a consoling hand on his upper back. Sweetie immediately recognizes the crying man as her husband, Howard. What would you all like to do? Punch him in the face. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. I like, I, I start in a way that I, it, I imagine if Dickie is right behind me, I actually like bump back into Dickie or he runs into my back. Mm hmm. Oh, you all right? You okay, sweetie? You look like I... you've seen a ghost. Uh, it, uh, 
Wait a minute, isn't that Howard up there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna step up a little bit closer, like I know it's him, but I'm, I'm just making sure. And, uh, does he see me yet? Howard does not. Um, are you trying not to be seen? The only person who is facing your direction is Father Fitzgerald. No, I'm not trying not to be seen. I feel like I can't even focus. I'm, okay. uh, I'm going to try and get the Reverend's attention. I'm going to see if I can, like, make eye contact with him and, and, and see if I should stay or go based on that. Father Fitzgerald, um, as you walk in and, and make yourself a noticeable presence, very briefly his eyes flicker up and he makes very brief eye contact with you. Um, almost as if he's just acknowledging your presence, but there's not really much you can read from his expression. Uh, he sort of just looks up, you know that he sees you, and then he his attention returns to Howard. I'm going to spin around and look at Dickie. Do you, uh, well, maybe we wait outside while uh, the priest? I don't... Uh, uh, <laughs> Why don't uh, it's been a heck of a morning? Why don't we get a little air, uh, 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 Bunny? Uh, uh, why don't you go talk to the priest? See if you can find anything out. No. Uh, you and Benny go talk to the priest. See if no, wait, 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 wait. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna walk up behind Howard, and put a hand on his shoulder. Okay. Okay. Buddy's just going to sit into one of the pews, like maybe two pews away from uh, from what's going on, and just kind of sit down and take his take his hat off. Just kind of start doing, you know, start doing a, a a little prayer. But he's got like one eye open. He's just kind of keeping an eye on what's going on over there. Sure, sure. Okay, so laying a hand on Howard's back, sweetie, uh, you do so and. Father Fitzgerald looks at you sort of with with a look of approval, we'll say. Um, and Howard spins around uh, and sees you. And the moment he lays eyes on you and makes eye contact with you, he just, his sobs just multiply. He just like lets out a huge, like a cry of anguish. And he turns back around and he, and he leans back over his, uh, you know, he doubles over again. Um, Father Fitzgerald kind of rubs his back a little bit and, and says... It's all right, my son. God is testing you. The fact that you're here shows me and shows your wife that you're ready to rise to meet the challenge. Every time you've upturned the bottle, you've been taking the devil into your body. And Howard just sobs. Oh, fucker. Ah. Uh... Oh my god. So Howard Howard um just is is still like just you can barely hear him just through his these heavy sobs and his hands over his face just Ever since my accident I've just I've just felt so angry all the time. A, a drink is the only thing that dulls the anger or the pain. My head hurts all the time. I've just been taking it all out on, on, on poor sweetie and he turns around and doesn't quite look at you but he, it, it's like he looks towards you and just says uh, sweetie I I am so so sorry I'm gonna give him a real sweet look and I'm gonna say you know what? This is good work. Why don't y'all figure this out? And uh, and you let me know when you feel like you're in a better place. And I'm going to turn on my heel. And I'm going to grab Dickie by the shoulder. Mm. And I'm going to fucking walk out. Mm. I'm going to follow them. Okay. That's right. You grab that man, sweetie. You get your hands on that arrow. Mm. Buddy, <laughs> Buddy is just going to stand up and 
and look at the look at the pasture and just go and just kind of walk out. Yeah. Uh, once we're back outside, uh, oh, <laughs> sweetie, that that was awesome. <laughs> I don't I, I I don't feel awesome about it. But uh um fuck. <laughs> we were supposed to do something important. Um <laughs> is it real important that we that we find out whatever we were gonna find out about the Reverend? And if so, do you wanna go in and take care of that? I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna take a little lap around the graveyard and, and I'll meet you back here in three and a half minutes, all right? And I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna look, do a little power walking, just just around the uh, outside of the church, just for a minute. And and if they want to go talk to the reverend, they okay. can go talk to the reverend. All right. So I'll back outside the uh, the front door of the church. <laughs> the last few churchgoers sort of trickling out. Um, it's, you know, Wednesday afternoon service, so it's not very not tremendously well attended, but you know, a few people, such as uh, such as uh, what's his face, um, Walter Barbera, still shuffling towards his car. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's so dumb i'm sorry uh, <laughs> invitation still stands if you go on to come play trackers <laughs> um. <laughs> um but yeah so sweetie is is off just off like a shot before anybody can say anything about it she's is is, is is walking laps around the graveyard almost as if she's trying to find spooky things um <laughs> Campbell, no way. <laughs> no, it's okay. She goes, it's the middle of the day. It's fine. This is a place of worship. Uh, and she's just doing laps. Buddy wants Campbell to lean Campbell tried in. to get murdered. No way. <laughs> Buddy wants to lean into the dicky because I think he, you know, he kind of walks up and uh, you know, kind of looks at at, uh, at Sweetie as she walks off and uh, he kind of looks, looks at Dickie and he goes, it's a hell of a woman there, eh? Uh, well, you know, uh, she's, she's she's got a fire to her. I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll say I'll say that much. But anyway, we should probably go talk to this, uh, this priest, huh? I mean, that's what we came here for. Yeah, let's go talk to that priest, Dicky. And he kind of gives him an elbow and kind of and turns around and starts walking back inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I i think i neglected to mention but you know let, let's just say for for the sake of of our story that before you went in the first time um hugsley uh reappeared and and rejoined the group oh hugsley oh, no, I'll come hey how was I'll class hugsley now. i'll show up now oh, no, no. let's not retcon let's 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 okay let's yeah, yeah, yeah we'll do it now we'll do it now I'll, uh, yes so okay so so as you're walking as you're walking out of the church you see hugsley approaching and after, right after you have that little conversation, Hugsley approaches. And, and, and so I, I walk up and I go, oh, I, I've been looking for y'all all day. I, I know we had some business, you know. You were like, hey, loser, get in the car. And I was like, I'm there. And then I hopped out of the car and went to class. I, I, I'm sorry to let you down, but I'm here now. What, what, what did y'all find out? Uh, well, uh you hear now that's what's important hugsley and we were actually about to go talk to this father here and try and learn a little more uh, apparently he gave a sermon the other day that well you know set a fire under some folks so we're just gonna do a little investigating and actually you know your skills and knowledge of the mind will probably be helpful well, you, here. You I, that's why i'm here i was looking for you all day but but i'll tell you what be careful oh. with that religion it, it, it's potent like some people aren't about it but those that are it, it, it's powerful stuff. It's powerful stuff. I ain't seen a I ain't seen a stronger drug in all my days. Uh, shall we? Let's shall. I mean, I'm still I'm still recovering from <laughs> kind of like unbuttons his unbutton unbuttons the t- Hugsley, a job's a job, man. Yeah. You gotta yeah, you gotta make money. You gotta make money. We didn't we're not pinning it against you or anything. All right, Hugsley puts his hand out. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. I push and don't you think I forgot about you showing up in the middle of the night and helping me out? I, like that, that meant a lot to me. Ah, you would have done the same if you were in my shoes. I... Well, let's go. We got to, uh, you know, it's been a minute since my last <laughs> confession. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> 
Vicky puts on a pair of sunglasses. We spent too much time together because virtually we were able to pull off the knowing knots. Yeah, me and Dan. We're just sitting there going, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So stupid. Anyway, we turn tail and we walk into the fucking church. Walk right back into the church. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's as if you never went. Uh, actually, okay. So as you're walking in, um, Howard is is standing up and he and he has his hat kind of clutched to his chest. And as you're walking in, he's walking out. Um, and he he's not he's trying not to look at any of you. He's trying I'd not like to make to eye too, contact. When they when they all head in, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna hang out here. You guys go ahead. So I'll just kind of hang out front. Yeah. Okay, staying out front. Uh, Hug, Hugsley's going to immediately, he's going to clock something's off of Howard, and he's going to scan the group and, and try to do a psychoanalysis to see what's going on here. On on the other investigators or on Howard? Mm-hmm. The other investigators. To see, okay. to see like, who's, who's, what all the weird situation is, because he doesn't know anything. Sure, sure, okay, yeah, go ahead, and if you'd like to make a roll, you can, you can do so against your psychoanalysis. Mm-hmm. Wait. This is my first roll in my fancy, fancy <gasps> dice. Hey, C4 Labs. What, what? Oh, Love those clickety clacks. Oh, shit. Oh. I got a 90. <laughs> oh, not even, not even C4 Labs can break Dan's no. die curse. That's, and the curse continues. C4 Labs for all your lovely dice tower. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. So I'm going to show you what I got a 90 on. These these are the dice uh, Winnie got me. Oh, that lovely. She got me them Callister. Nice. We love. Yeah. All right. So 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 Hugsley tries to clock what's going on, and um, a bug flies in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I'll leave it up to the rest of you guys. Is there is there anything that's, like, surface level enough that a very, very not great psychoanalysis role would reveal? Just maybe maybe just something that you're wearing on your face. It's can up I? to you. It doesn't have to be anything. Okay, can I? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, oh. Dickie. <laughs> too soon? That's too <laughs> soon. I take I it back. <laughs> okay, can I do a um, can I do a psychology check on Howard as he's walking by? And, and basically, you would you would also notice that like uh, Benny is standing outside like a bodyguard, and that I'm power walking through the graveyard. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. All then, right. So I'm like, oh, oh sorry, wow, yeah. she's fit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're able to get that much, certainly. Um, so, yes, Ned, you certainly may do so. Uh, what exactly are you trying to figure out? Because it might be psychology or it might be psychoanalysis. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if he's uh, if he's genuine with the whole thing or if, or if he's like if he's planning something or scheming by the whole you know, the, oh, what was me? Oh, I shouldn't have done everything I did. You know, like sure, sure, yeah. Um, Good I honestly, I, 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 honestly forget which which of those it would be. Uh, but just, uh, I know that you're you have skill points in one of them. So just do whatever one is better. Sweet, thank you. Yeah, keeper of you're arcane welcome. lore. If you can all see I'm my kind, dice I'm tower with keeper. my lovely, lovely tray here. Absolutely. Oh, Let's so hear those clicky clacks. Woo! Sounds so good. What you got, Ned? Ooh, 22 under 30. Nice, nice. Okay. And you're yes. not even a professor of psychology. I'm not. Look at that. I'm not. So that, I'm just, that I was I'm psychology. Just, people reading. just out of curiosity, what would, um, what would psychoanalysis, like, what is your psychoanalysis score? Would it, would it have been a success on psychoanalysis as well or no? Uh, I'm just no. curious. <laughs> Hard no. <though>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Either way, um, yeah, no, he does seem genuine. He seems like he has, I, I don't, sweetie, did you tell them what went down in the house? Did you go into like detail of what went down in the house? No. Okay, so you you definitely no. get the sense. No, she just told us that since his accident, um, he's been acting. Not yeah, no, you, you, you get the sense that he has done something that he deeply regrets and he feels really desperate and really sad. Yeah, so as Howard kind of walks by him, he, he just kind of looks at him and he clocks him and then he he goes, ah, poor son of a bitch. And he kind of turns around and, and heads back into the church. Okay. 
anything else before uh, as you're making your way over to Father Fitzgerald? All right. Um, so yeah, you are you successfully make your way. So, you know, not that it was difficult, but you successfully uh, you walk down the aisle of the church without tripping. Um, and uh, yeah, there's Father Fitzgerald, and and he's having he uh, by now let's say he has sat down in that front row of pews with those those few other people, um, none of whom you uh, recognize, or maybe if you thought about it for a number of minutes, you could recall a name. Um, but he's just he's just having a, a bit of a chat with them. But as you as you approach, he he acknowledges you. Father, well, good afternoon. Welcome, Father. So, so uh, listen, um, uh, I I hope you don't mind. I, I I know you must be a very busy. I always have time. Uh, it, it would for someone would who you be willing seeks to counsel. Ask a few. Yeah, listen to uh, answer a few questions for us. We're. Uh, you know, uh, I'm sure you've noticed, you know, uh, things have been, there's been some strange business in the town uh, for a, over the past week or so. Some spooky Hold stuff on. going on. Well, while this is going on, Huxley goes in his shoulder bag and he pulls out his notebook and just starts taking okay. notes so he can have recall of this yeah, conversation yeah, later. Um, but, he, but he sees the, the notes being taken and goes, wow. Actually, you got really good handwriting, bud. Jesus. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hudson oh. <laughs> uh, doesn't say anything. He just gives him a little wink. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, so Father Fitzgerald goes. I'm, I'm sure you must be talking about uh, Kenneth McCurdy and poor uh, Charlie Franz. Yeah. That's a terrible cry and shame. We're we're uh, we're lucky to have a spiritual leadership in these trying times. Oh, I all, all I can do is um, just repeat the word as it's given to me. Speaking of, you know that that kind of brings me to my next question, Father. Um, we heard tell that you gave a sermon. What was it a week ago? Yeah, it was the previous Sunday. So actually, if today's Wednesday, then it was Tuesday, Monday, three days ago. Oh, okay. Uh, you gave a sermon this Sunday past that sort of riled some people up. And, you know, I, I, unfortunately, I, you know, I, I was not a, in attendance that day. I, I was just wondering, you know, what it was that you said that, you know, you know affected people so. Yes, yes. Well, I, uh, I, did, I did notice that it was perhaps... Not the most, uh, not the most popular thing I've I've ever said, but I, like I said, I'm I, I'm so bad at Irish accents. Uh, yeah. Um, but <laughs> no, it's coming like, up well. Go, no, you're doing great. Like I said, I'm, with I'm, I'm with it, baby. I I am but a messenger, and I was reading from Leviticus, which does have some, well, perhaps perhaps a bit extreme views on on people's aptitude. Can I? Um, Buddy wants to do a fast talk, uh, and he wants to attempt to. The goal of this is to to get Father Fitzgerald to repeat part of it for us, so that we can hear what he said. Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you say? So, so Buddy's going to be like, uh, you know, Father, I, I I happened to be there, and I was really, really interested in that one part that you said after the. Um, oh, you you know the thing with. Uh, uh, um, 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 you know, thou shalt not steal, and thou shalt not, you know, yada yada yada. And he's like, oh, that's a classic. Like, yeah. Well, that I, perhaps yeah, I, you may yeah. get uh, it confused with Exodus, but um, but go ahead and and, and roll that back talk. Wow, don't get it twisted. Uh, that is a critical fail. <laughs> Oh, that is critical zero. Zero. Uh, zero. That is a hundred. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, that's a hundred. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Ooh, yikes. Shit. The the you, catch you catch on fire. Um, <laughs> ah! But he's so slow. Um, so. Probably shouldn't have thrown in that yada, well, yada, yada. Here, so here's the question. Here's <laughs> the question, <laughs> Ned. Were you, in fact, in church on Sunday? 
Well, I, I, I critical failed. No, <laughs> I was not. But I, you know, I was trying to pass it off like I was. <clears throat> I don't believe we've had the pleasure, actually. Father Fitzgerald reaches a hand out. Ah, yeah. Father, sorry. I didn't take communion that day, but, I, you know. Real, real fan of the sermons. <laughs> you know, really passed on the. Uh... He's doubling down. <laughs> the chutzpah of, you know, what you're teaching. Oh my God. <laughs> you just told the father that you're a real fan. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> he rolled 100. He, he critical failed. No, he it's true. Falling. He's being, he is role playing very faithfully to his role, which I just, I love. I really love that, Ned. You're doing a fantastic job. Um, so, so, Father Fitzgerald, uh, gives you this really funny look um, and says, well, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, buddy. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. I, I'm quite sure I didn't see your face in church on Sunday. This is a, a congregation that I'm very familiar with. It's possible you're misremembering. Oh, you know what? I, You're 100% right. I was there two days before that. But I love that bit that you were talking about in Exodus, and that's what it was. I think I, I, I misunderstood, and I, I thought I was there, you know, the day that you, uh, you know, is anybody else hot? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a step <laughs> out for air. <laughs> Hugsley, write, Hugsley writes down, Buddy cannot be trusted. And Buddy, and buddy just, buddy just kind of, like, turns around and, like, scratches the back of his head and, uh, you know, is like, wow, look at that stained glass. Holy <laughs> Moses. Well, yeah, you'll have to you'll have to uh, forgive my friend here, Father. He's uh, yeah, he's from out of town, you know, and he he's a li he's from the you know he's, he's from the big city, you know how they get. Uh, uh. <laughs> Say no more. Um, but you know, it's 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 strange, Father. You know, I I've been talking to a few people, and and it seems, you know, as you were saying, a, a lot of people around town have been receiving, you know, whether you want to call it visions or miracles or. Or, or, or lessons from the Almighty. It seems that people are uh, being blessed with skills that they never acquired before in their life. You know, and so as a holy man, I, I, I was just so curious if you could speak to this, you know, these blessings, this, these miracles that seem to be descending on our small town. It is a phenomenon not unlike plenty of other things I've seen before. Sometimes people just open their hearts up to Jesus Christ, and he does indeed bless them. Sometimes that takes the form of renewed vigor in something that previously fascinated them. Sometimes it renews their faith. Other times it keeps them going in times of great sorrow. But yes, I, I have noticed that as well. I, I dare say I've even experienced it myself. Truly, Father. Well, I mean, of course, as a, you know, as a, a holy man and, and one of the most blessed members of this community, it, I, I, I hope that I don't overstep, but I, I'm just curious if you wouldn't mind sharing what... Uh, what whoa, Guest appearance. What, uh, what holy messages did you receive from, uh, from our Lord and Savior? Well... I did find that the passage I chose from Leviticus did, I, I understand that it might be a bit harsh to hear it, but I do find that it encapsulates the idea very well. And that idea is that people who open their hearts up to the Lord will become blessed, but people whose hearts have hardened like stone they may not receive such blessings until they are ready. So, I suppose, along the same lines of that passage, it's a, it was a bit of an ultimatum, as it were. Oh. I... We only have so much time on this earth. We get but the one life before we are judged on whether we are worthy to enter the kingdom of heaven. And uh, for those who turn away from the word of God... 
uh, what in this ultimatum of which you describe, what is to be their penance, Father? Well, their penance is hell, my son. Hell awaits. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so casual. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, well, uh, harsh, but, uh, harsh, but, but ultimately fair in the uh, law of our Lord, Father. Um, it's better than fair, my son. Everyone, even the worst sinner, has the opportunity to make it up to the Lord. And uh, how may they do that? By simply opening their hearts. Uh -huh. But what I'm beginning to fear is that perhaps some people have decided that for them, for themselves, that it's too late. Uh, who, who might that be? Oh, anyone who doesn't repent and see the ways and follow the word of the Lord. Well, I must say, Father, may I ask, uh, if, if I can take one more minute of your moment of your time, after you delivered this sermon, I, I, I understand that, that, that many were swayed, as I am now, hearing your words. Um, was uh, 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 those who uh, uh, heard the good, uh, the good deliverance that you received from our Lord and delivered on to us, uh, who was particularly uh, 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 rejoiced to hear this, this good news? Is it, uh, and then I name off, you know, some of the people who have been kind of fruity loops around us for the past couple of days. Sure, sure. Yeah, so I'm um, just out of game for a moment, just to re uh, recall some of those people. Um, Sweetie probably would have told you about Raymond Lowry, uh, the budding musician. Yes. Um, we've talked about uh, 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 Wayne Heitman, the yep. lumber mill worker who's uh, thinking about unionizing. We've talked. We've met with, um, and I, I assume Buddy. I know that Buddy told you about, uh, you know, about that. Absolutely. Um, Old Man Pearson. We've talked about um, the uh, the police else? chief. Ooh, yep, yep, the police chief Stanley Alexander. And the farmer. Um, the uh, yep, the farmer, uh, Freddie Jensen, um, and uh, uh, Gladys McDermott, I think we've mentioned yeah, as well. Yeah, Gladys. I, I assume Sweetie told you about them. Poor Gladys. Um, but yeah, it's essentially so, uh, like a one-to-one -one between people who have been... Yeah, yeah, so you're just yeah. like sort of rattling off these names. Um, and and you're, the question, it, <clears throat> excuse me, the question is which of these people are, are like sort of taking your word and, and receiving it? Yes, correct. Okay. Um... Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, uh, some sort of interpersonal check. I, I imagine either charm, charm, persuade, or fast talk. Oh, One of those so, will probably that's, do. That's not me, man. It's not me for those. Um, <laughs> it ain't uh -oh. me, babe. Uh, you did do. It ain't did, me. It was hard babe. to talk. No, it was. No, um, no, it, it was. It was excellently babe. role played. So I will give you a bonus die. You can oh, roll the tens you. die twice. Bless you. Uh, bless you. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I don't have. I don't have points in anything. Bless, bless so, you, my son. Yeah. All right. Wow. Okay. Good. He's Dicky machine or all your points combat. Uh. Well, not not entirely, but it's mostly like. Uh. But yeah, I didn't put any pers interpersonal stuff because he doesn't get out a lot. All right. Let's let's see right. what happens here. Which makes sense. It's just it's good role playing. Yeah. I'm gonna try a uh, a. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh. I have one second. Uh. Dan, let um let let me see if let's see what Trevor does first, but then I'll then I'll get back to you. I was gonna see if I could aid him. Oh, that's not really a thing in Call of Duty, unfortunately. Aid. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's a, it was a thirty-eight. Uh, yeah, and everything is lower. No. Okay. Um. So, uh, as you're sort of rattling off these names, uh, he he kind of he kind of looks at you and he, and he smiles and says, "You know, Dicky, by um." I'm not quite sure I can speak specifically about things that have been told to me in confidence by the congregation, but to me it sounds a bit like you already know the answer to that question. Uh. <laughs> uh, well, you're right. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I forgive me, Father. I, uh, I, I overstep, of course. I, I, I would. I, I, uh, <laughs> 
I would never want to intrude, you know, in the uh, the uh, the confidences of a holy man. So, uh, you know, no, no, not at all. But I I will say, while it's not my place, some of those people have. I I know them to be very friendly and open people, that I'm sure would be happy to speak to you about their journey. Well, perhaps you know I will. I will seek them out uh, in the uh, uh, in the seeking of my own spiritual journey. You know, after the war, it uh, uh, well, you know, it my my faith was challenged over there, and uh, I'm I'm trying to come back to a. I'm trying to get my feet back under me, Father, in in more ways than one. Of course, um, of course, Dicky. I I'm sure I've told you this before, or at least I hope I have. But your suffering is a gift. It's up to you. Not to waste it. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I'll think on. I'll think on what you said, Father. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Um, uh, I, I, I trust. I go. trust. I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> Come hell or high water. Ha! <laughs> uh, huh, get that all the time. <laughs> all right. Hugs is going to close his notebook. Mm -hmm. Hugs is going to close his notebook, and he's going to say to the priest, uh, "Well, uh, I'm a little new in town, but uh, where where I'm from, uh, there's a lot of strange, strange things that happens. People speaking in tongues. Uh, I'd even dare say miracles. And I'm I'm more of a scientific man, but I've seen some very strange things where my people are from." Um, you mentioned that some things have been happening with you yourself. Well, there are uh, many paths to the Lord. I, uh, I think, for for myself, for my own part, I can say that I've, I, I too, like many, have uh, recently experienced a, a renewed vigor in my worship. That's so interesting. What, what does that look like? Well, it's not the first time it's happened. I pray it won't be the last. But sometimes uh, if I'm studying the Bible, a particular passage that I've normally just glanced over stands out to me. Or perhaps perhaps I, I see something in someone that I didn't see before. The Lord speaks to us in many ways. <laughs> Uh, and then Hugsley just does his nerdy little, well, talk to you later. Any blessings, Father? Go with God. Yeah, uh, and we, I think we go. Okay. If yes, I may, uh, about, about ten minutes ago, uh, I went up to Benny and was like, can you do me a, a, a real strange favor? It yeah, seems like it'd be something right up your alley. And I'm just going to walk back over into the, like, the, you know, yard next to the church. And I was like, you look like you've been in a couple of fights in your time. Can you show me yeah, some absolutely. defensive moves? And I'm going to spend the time that they're in the church talking to Father Fitzgerald with Benny teaching me, like, uh, yeah. so, you know, some Keep fighting. Keep the hands up how to really rotate your, your hips to put some power behind your mm-hmm. punches. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, hit the yeah. target. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> Good strikes. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> as, as, far as, as far as I know, um, Campbell, there's not really a rule for this, but... Uh, I think that's that's a really cool idea, and I want to reward it. So why don't you uh, make an improvement check against your uh, your fight brawl skill, or perhaps your yeah, yeah, no, fight brawl skill. Oh, that is I an excellent that. keeper of arcane lore. Way to go! Before you roll, sweetie, oh, I'd like wow, I'd like to mention sally. that. Okay. So how to start that out work? the training yeah. first, I show her how to wax a car, wax on, wax off, and then we we put <laughs> some fences, <laughs> and then. We go in that this is how you block, and this is yeah. So she's got some legit training. Just That's saying. Exactly right. <laughs> so uh-huh. um. Mr. Right. took that from you. <laughs> from you. 
<laughs> so the way so the way that works, and... Campbell, is that you should. I don't. Do you have any points invest? I don't think you have any points invested in fight brawl already. So by default, you have a twenty-five. <laughs> no. um, so roll a d one hundred. Uh, start with that. Roll it. Roll a d one hundred. Okay. <gasps> I got. Oh. Is this oh, bad fuck! or good? I got a. A that's good. No, that's good. That's good. Yes, yes. With improvement checks, oh. improvement checks oh, are oh. there. May be others, but r improvement checks you want to get above the score. You right? just got the lesson. Oh. Yes. Yes. So, um, so, so, uh, roll a, uh, uh, I don't know, roll a d10 and yeah. add that to your fight brawl skill. Cool, man. Oh, thank you. Oh, right. Oh, right. That's cool. That's okay, a row. That's yeah. That's a 10. Yes! Yeah, so level up! Level up! Look level out! Here she like comes! Launches a couple, couple <laughs> punches into my hands, and the, and the, the last one hits me, and I'm like, damn! Like, woo And she yeah. gives a little, like, <laughs> excellent excellent going across the graveyard oh, very good very sweetie. good that's our oh. sweet well done final girl. well done all of you that final was excellent girl. little bit of role playing she is oh, the yeah. final girl as um as as dicky and and hugsley kind of make their way back toward the door but he's just kind of there scratching his head being like ah, i'm real sorry boys i made a real muck of that truth is i haven't been to church in 20 years <laughs> yeah, we, we, we all knew, buddy. <laughs> That's all right. I don't know if we were going to get much more out of him regardless. Hey. Um, but so as, you're making, as, you're, hey. as you're making your way out, the um, Father Fitzgerald does uh, sort of return his attention to a few of those, of those other people who are sitting there. While you were all talking, they sort of like turn their attention to each other and we're just chatting. Um, but he does sort of like rejoin that little group and, and uh, is talking to them as you're walking out. And Hugs is going to turn to Buddy, and he's going to go, and, and, and you know what, Buddy? I think that, that Preacher was blowing more smoke than you, by the way, so I, I wouldn't be too hard on yourself. And Buddy, buddy just kind of, <laughs> Hugsley, why do you think I haven't been to church in 20 years? Come on. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, anything else? Are we, are we regrouping outside the church? Yeah, yeah I think so. Uh, yeah, I think Excellent. So. Goons unless, assemble. Unless anybody wants assemble. to do anything else, I think we're ready to, to wait for Nightfall and uh, make our get siege on the trouble. blind. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Let's get in trouble, um, y'all. Okay, well, do we want to do, do we wanna take I was, a five? I was just going to say, why don't we? Yeah. Why don't you all take take five minutes to think about in case in, in, if there's anything else you'd like to do. Or if not, then to the barn oh, we will go oh, in five woo! minutes. Right. So ready. Stay so right ready. where you are. We'll be right back, goons. Yes, Gaggle, stay with us. Um, that we just, oh boy, some things have happened, and we are we are having a time. Uh, we'll be back in five Woo! minutes. Stay right where you are. Yeah, Snickle. Go get yourself. Okay. Snickle. <laughs> a two. Oh. And there we are. We're back. Welcome back, Gaggle. Welcome back, goons to part two of episode five of Madness and Mercy, the Call of Cthulhu stream brought to you by Critical Fail DM and the Goons. I, of course, am Kay, your keeper of arcane lore. Um, cool. Yeah, so how we, how we, um, <laughs> I didn't really have much to say after that. How are we all feeling, Goons? How are, uh, how, are how are we, how are you feeling? How are your characters feeling? Ready. I'm ready to knock with us some uh, Cthulian horrors. That's what I'm ready to do. I'm, I'm feeling a little off balance now, but that's all right. We're uh, it's a good place to be at. It's energizing to be off balance. Good sometimes. thing in, in all two strong arms from Dicky to catch you. <laughs> also, well, also Benny teaching her yeah. how to throw a punch Benny, and all that. Benny has a newfound respect <laughs> for Sweetie. He's like, damn, she can she can throw a punch. Listen, listen, Sweetie, Sweetie is, is a baddie. And I, Sweetie, I never been with a baddie, but Sweetie's a baddie. <laughs> Sweetie is a boss ass bitch. She is an independent entrepreneur who don't need no man. That said, <laughs> she, gets yeah. she gets her pick. She gets her pick. Any man would up. be lucky. Uh, um, so, uh, Kay, as we're leaving the, the church, 
Um, I want to keep my, an eye out, literally just the one. Um, uh, as we as we leave the church, just to see if you know, because he turned back to a bit of his converse, congregation. It looked like they were having a a chat. I just want to make sure we're not being followed or you sure, know, you know sure. I mean? They seem pretty engrossed in their conversation. Uh, no one is no one is watching you. But as you're leaving, you're welcome to roll a listen check and see if you can find out what they're talking about. That goes for I'll, any of you actually who are in there. Yeah. I'll, roll I'll jump on that too, actually. Okay. okay. Yeah. May. Sure thing. And while you're doing this, I'm going to show everyone the sweet ass dice tower closer up. So, yeah, it's oh. really cool. See, well, right now I see more of like a reflection of myself. It's a little stream. tricky. That's really cool. <laughs> so but yeah, it is. It is. It is really cool. Me, bro. It is really cool. I one thing I really like about it is that the 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 clear part, the acrylic, is just like one mm -hmm. solid piece. That's like. Yeah. wrapped all the way around instead of yeah. being like put together yeah. which is really cool I, I think that's awesome also the etching like the the etching of cthulhu is on the inside so it still mm -hmm. feels really smooth like you don't feel the outline of it it oh, sort of gives it like a 3d look yeah isn't that cool i'm just gonna roll yeah. just really because cool. i want to because this dice tower is so freaking sweet go right ahead <laughs> you are outside so it will count for literally nothing but be my guest that's yeah. it um that, that's <laughs> a 65 <laughs> under 100 of awesomeness so, that that <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's see who was inside. Who rolled? We got we got Dicky. What'd you get? It ain't you, uh, it buddy. Ain't, that is a twenty-two ain't. under forty-five. Is that a hard success? I believe it is. I believe you're right. I believe it is. And, and because it's two-two. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. So for that. <laughs> Um, you, uh, you catch on to the fact that, uh, Father Fitzgerald is inviting those three or four people, um, over for dinner tonight. Uh. So I, I, I figured that like Dickie and, and Hugsley, you know, I kind of like hold the door open, the big oak door. I kind of hold the door open for them and they walk through and sort of, I'm about to follow them. And as... I'm following them. I kind of just kind of perk my ear up, and I hear that. Yeah. And I'm like, huh. son of a bitch. And he just kind of walks <laughs> walks out behind them. <laughs> and uh, as as soon as we get, like, to the steps of the church, uh, you know, uh, Buddy will go behind uh, a Dickie and hugs me and be like, hey, 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 listen. I just heard the father inviting that. Yeah. That group of people to to dinner tonight. I think he might be planning something. To dinner. Well. To dinner. Let's see how things go at the farm, and you know, provided we're all still alive after that, maybe we can stop by. Stop by. Uh, stop by dinner whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened while I was away? What do you mean if we still? Alive? <laughs> this is escalating. Benny and I the other night found some pretty I don't know how to describe it other than to say <laughs> not ideal circumstances over at the local farm but you, come on let, let's head that way and, and, and get to the bottom of this of this stinky fish mm, I do like sushi so I'm in <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> most of you probably don't know what sushi is but perhaps I mean maybe Hugsley has uh, uh, been to Japan <laughs> Well, hey, Hugsley, hey, you know, Hugsley is a, nice a learned man. Some it's true. Sushi, it's true. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we love it. He's a man of the world. Very high education score. Okay, so um, uh, waiting culture. until nightfall and make uh, yes, culture. Um, waiting until nightfall and making your way to the to the the farm. Is that the plan? Yeah. Correcto mundo. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Anything else at all that you would like to do in between, or do we just want to like go kill some time somewhere? Okay. I want to get so. to business. We'll go back no, to the movie. Want business. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You all reconvene at the movie theater, and and Dicky puts something on just for you. Something, something that's a something, something a, a rare reel from your collection. You put on a little just, flick. Just, just so you know, if we did go back and watch a movie, Hugsley would totally be making up bullshit that they're saying in the silent film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely, he would. He'd be sitting there and just like inventing nonsense that they're saying. You'd be you'd be MST three King it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bingo bang. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right. Pretty so. nice. <laughs> All right. Night falls. 
Um, how would you all like to go to the barn? Are we piling into the Dodge Roadster? Are we taking maybe a car with more seats? Let's, yeah. Let's, nah, I let's say we pile. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll Excellent. We're, all, we're, we're snuggling in the we're road. Buddy. Snuggle, and then let's let's stop with with the, let's stop way before anybody could yeah. could yeah, hear. Yeah, the buddies do. Yeah, we'll. I'll stop in the same spot that yes, I did. Yes, yes, that's right. Last time you went to the farm, uh, uh, you did find a really nice like p- spot. Be- I think I said like behind a stack of hay bales or something that's far away enough that no one would see you coming. And because uh, you know, I think you rolled really high on your your stealth roll, so like we'll carry that over. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. So you park and you all quietly pile out of the car. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So as we're getting out of the car, uh, I I get out trench coat flowing in the Ooh, night air. Uh, yeah, Dickie, Dickie stepping I, out of his fancy calf, right? And I walk over to the um, the uh, the trunk and I pop it open uh, and I take out my, uh, my uh, uh, long leather rifle <laughs> bag and I uh, flop it on the, on, the side, on the ground next to the hay bale and <laughs> unzip it a uh, long ways down and I take out you know, my old Enfield and I just hold it for a second like Kratos when he when he brings out the blades of chaos, uh, it's a very pregnant moment as he sits there for a minute with it, and then I sling it over one shoulder, take up my bayonet, oh, stick shit. that into my boot, and then I say, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> after unzipping, after pulling out a rifle, and after pregnant, sweetie, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> but he just looks at her and goes, "Well, don't keep him waiting. Come on." Woo! 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 Oh, I did not. Can he catch his sweetie when she faints real quick and then gets her back on her feet? It's <laughs> gonna like pop her back up. <laughs> wow, uh, Benny, that's really convenient of you to have a full <laughs> glass of water in your pocket. To... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, sweetie, I. Uh... I don't know exactly what we're going to find in there. Um, but trust me, I've more than enough sense to... I've, I've enough sense not to ask you not to come with us. I saw you throwing those haymakers earlier outside the church. But I I just want to make sure you're safe. So uh, do you know how to use one of these? And I pull out my old thirty two pistol, uh, flip it around, catch it by the barrel, and, and, and give it to her handle first. Oh, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, do you have, do you even have time to show me how to use this without making a whole lot of noise? Uh, you point this end at the bad guy. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's just for emergencies. I just would hate to, you know, bring you into this thing and, uh, you know, get you into tr- trouble without giving you a way to get back out of trouble. Do you know buddy, what I mean? Buddy uh-huh. hears this conversation going on and he kind of steps up and he goes, uh, here, uh, uh, Dickie, she can she can practice on mine. And he pulls out his thirty eight special, and he he pulls the 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 um the revolver end out, and he puts the bullets in his hand. So all the bullets are out of the gun, and he flips it back. Oh, right. This is a lot of information. It's all right. It's all right. I just want Hold you to on. to practice this. <laughs> and he pulls the hammer back, and he puts the em- unloaded gun in her hand, and he goes, "All right." Now point it up. I want you to take a deep breath and squeeze that trigger. And don't think about it. Just squeeze. I do. And I you, do. And you hear that. just the hammer go. And you go, see? It's that simple. Just make sure you take a breath before you do it. It's going to be loud, but it's that simple. And he, he pulls the hammer back right. and he goes, try one more time. Deep breath. And squeeze. Mm-hmm. And so he, and then he takes the gun and he goes, "All right." And he kind of, you know, he flips it open and he puts the bullets back in and rolls it up and puts it back in his in his case. And, and I'll take the the gun that Dickie was offering me and be like, "Where do I put this?" <laughs> I, I'm not trying to. Can freak. I? I'm, I'm in my purse. Uh, here, I think I got I got a, something for it, and I bring out you know like a little holster that she little can frog. throw over yeah, her shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
with any luck, we won't need to use it whatsoever. I just don't want anybody going in there not able to defend themselves if things go <laughs> south here. Yeah. Buddy, buddy, not picking up the social cues was like, oh. Yeah, no, you're not gonna need to use that at all. That we're just we're just <laughs> typing, talking hypothetical. I mean, you, <laughs> we're gonna be fine. So, I, well, how does this holster work? So, I've got like a like a house dress on, and then yeah, like, there's a holster <laughs> on the house dress. And I'm just it, it it goes over one shoulder and kind of sits, you know, against. Uh, yeah, it sort of sits against your chest. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So if it ever comes to that, we'll just figure out how that works. Uh, I I only have a kitchen knife in my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose I suppose well, you if can. If it comes to it, it's a it's a it's I think it's a d it's a d six of damage for a Wait, but, time yeah. out, time out. Lord no, Dragon specials one d ten. Lord Dragon just said, "Now she's Sweetie McClint Lock." Sweetie McClint Lock. <laughs> McClint Lock, yeah. <laughs> I was I was gonna Go. say, Sweetie. I was going to say, you guys are really fishing for improvement checks tonight, but I'm just going to leave it to one. Just going to give you the one. Just the one. one. I'll just give you the one. I've got, I'm ready to go. Look, Lord Dragon, that just got you a sub. That was gold. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So having given Sweetie her minimal firearms course. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, I think that despite the fact that we are kind of far away enough, to be hidden um as you all sort of pile out of the dodge roadster and kind of you know pop your heads around the hay bale scooby-doo style um (laughs) yeah exactly just stacked uh you do see that the farmhouse just the farmhouse uh has lights on much like it did the other night and there's a car parked outside that you don't recognize. However, I will is bring it, it up on the stream. Pickup truck? <gasps> it is uh, a Rolls Royce Ooh. Phantom. Oh man, Zaddy! It's a lot of money Ooh. right there. It's a very, Uh-oh. very fancy I hope car. I don't know the guy who drives that car. Oh shit! Well, Benny. Ooh. Funny you should mention that. <gasps> because yeah, fancy cat. It was planned. As you, uh, uh, as your head, perhaps you are on the top of the stack. Your head is the last one to pop out from around that hay bale. You see that car, and you recognize it immediately. This car no. belongs to Salvatore Tataro, Black Sam, the underboss of the Cleveland mob. The man who, at present, is actually in charge of the Cleveland crime family while uh, Joseph Perello is off visiting Sicily. Okay. Oh. And, as, and as you take this in, you see this car, the door to the farmhouse opens, and none other than Salvatore Tadaro himself steps out, flanked by his two bodyguards, and followed by someone who you may not recognize, but who anyone who is from Mayfield would recognize. You all see that he's being followed by, uh, first by um, a man by the name of uh, Felix Taramai. Felix is the, the manager of Elmer's Steakhouse. You know, he's a, he's a, a man of Eastern European descent. Um, and uh, Felix is followed by Deputy Stanley Alexander. Oh, boy. They all, all the whole group stops outside the front door. Um, Felix and uh, Totoro shake hands. And then Totoro turns and walks towards his car, gets into the back seat. His two bodyguards get into the front seat. Uh, the engine roars to life. And the car slowly starts to make its way up the driveway. Shit, are they coming towards us? I think you're like far away off the uh, far away enough off the driveway that you know, uh, assuming assuming that they're not looking to find somebody, they would not see you. I think. 
Well, right, but when I, when I get onto the road, are they driving? I think you're you're far. Uh, like we, that was a you got you guys rolled. Yeah, you found that spot yeah. on a very high stealth roll. I think from any place that people are driving normally, they wouldn't see you. I think as as the car is like as they're walking toward the car, uh, but you know, I don't, I don't, I think maybe Benny is like. Holy shit, I know that guy. And, like, Buddy will put a hand on his shoulder and pull him down and be like, Benny, keep your head down. Yeah, Come on. I usually would pop up to try to see something. I think as soon as I saw who it was, I would grab fucking everyone and yank them fucking down and be like, I beg. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, I don't know if you guys heard, that's Salvatore Tadaro. Salvatore Dolly? What? Tadaro, and he's some bad fucking news. Yeah, I, I don't know. Listen, well, any, anybody I got involved with them, n not of uh, my own accord, but I can tell you this: he's he's one guy you don't want to cross, and he's one guy you don't want to mess with. Would would we recognize that name? Is he like is he like high profile enough that like? Uh, probably not. Um. I think I think uh, so. So Salvatore Totoro was a real person. Um, he he was the underboss of the Cleveland crime family. And I actually misspoke earlier. He's not a uh, uh, big Joe Leonardo is actually the current leader of the crime Cleveland crime family. He's in Sicily right now. Um, so but uh, 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 but Totoro has been left in charge. Um, Can it's possible. I would say it's possible. You know what? Actually, anyone who wants to can roll uh, against their education score. And yeah. if you get a if you get a success, just a regular success, you have heard of. Uh, then I will say that you have heard of uh, Big Joe Leonardo. I've heard of him. Nope. Yeah, and I'll I'll give when I you've heard of them all down, and I tell them who that is. I'll give them the background of of who Salvatore is, and 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 well, where yeah, he fits in. Would it be bad? Is he yeah. dangerous? Would it be bad you if he saw you? Say what? Okay. What the hell is a crime boss doing in this sleepy little town? Yeah, Everybody with a car that does. He's got some sway, I'll tell yeah, you that. he didn't get that car on a teacher's salary, I'll tell you that much. Mm -mm. So you're having this conversation as the car slowly creeps up the driveway, passes where you are, doesn't slow down or, or give any indication that they have noticed you or anything. Gets onto the main road and gets on gets on the road towards Cleveland. Um, but Felix and uh, Alex and and Stanley, Felix and Stanley are are still on the front porch of the house. They're having a, a brief conversation. Do we see the truck anywhere? You do. Yeah, the truck is in the driveway. Okay, the truck mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Come on, we gotta find out what's in that barn. Okay. Do you want to? What? How did y'all do this the other night? Can we do that again? They're standing right on the porch. Yeah. Can we sneak past the house to get to the barn? Yeah. With them out on the porch, or uh, or or. Uh, sure. Yeah. So um, you certainly can. Uh, it doesn't. It may not be all that necessary because they're they're having this conversation, and it, it does seem pretty brief. They um, uh, uh, they have the conversation, and then uh. Stanley gets into his uh, his police Model T and he drives off, and uh, mm -hmm. and Taramai goes back into the house. Felix goes back into the house. Well, that's good. At least it'll be a little bit of time before backup comes if this goes. Well, it's south. also a lot better than being uh, five on two. No, it's just five on one for all we know. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure. When we were here the other night, there was still a whole host of people in the. About how many? Uh, Do you remember? Four, five, maybe. It was four. You remember? It was. It was. Um. And I. I. I know. I gave you their names, but it was. It was Freddie Jensen and three other men. And one of them was like, you know, the one who's throwing knives into the door. And they were all. They were all sitting a little bit lifeless in the. Uh, in the living room. But it sounds like a couple of goons to me. Men. If we do this right, <laughs> if we do this right, we won't have to see anybody else tonight. So, stay quiet, quick. So. Uh Unless, At this uh, moment, how's it goes? Fault. Is everyone ready to do this thing? You mean to tell me you pulled out that gun not to just woo this sweet little lady, but you actually plan on using it? If we have to, uh, these are dangerous uh, people. Yeah. This We're up just some yeah. like weird heterosexual kind of shenanigans. But if, if that's what we're doing, <laughs> I 
I guess Listen. that's what we're doing. Listen. Up. Yeah. Uh, professor, I, I am are you ready? Ready? let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's you know, go. Professor, you can wait in the car. I, that's probably the safest place. Yeah, we don't want to be shooting any guns unless we have to. We don't want to alert anyone that we're here. So let's let's just stay quiet and see what we can find right, out. I, I'll use my fist. Yeah. Okay. So are you all? Well, hopefully, again, hopefully. Too late. Hopefully, we won't need to fight anybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you're all you're all planning on creeping towards the barn Ooh. together. Is that the plan? Mm -hmm. Okay. Clean and quiet. Yeah. Um. So, uh, if everyone could give me a stealth roll with a bonus die, because um, you know, there's you there's know the way. you know the way. the way. Yeah, exactly. This is the way, and also. Oh yeah. fuck. Now, what does bonus roll the ten, die mean? Again? Tens die ten. Exactly, yeah, roll Since the tens die ten. this is the middle of the night, I, yeah, ten. I, I am not good with stealth, oh, but I'm very good God. with disguise. Woo! I'm good at, like, <laughs> copying body movements and, and voice and all this stuff. Can I use my disguise to, wow. to like, try to clock what other people were like to pretend like I'm someone else? Sure. Yeah, you could do that. Um, just give me give me a, a roll against your disguise, and then if it's a success, I'll let you take another uh, bonus. Okay. Cool. Cool. Check. Cool. All right. I I yeah. rolled a uh, a six under thirty, so that's an extreme success. Wow. Very good. Very good. Okay, so we have one extreme success. Dan, what did you do? how'd you do on that disguise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, the disguise. Did you do the advantage? roll the tens twice, twice. And I did. Could that. I? No, 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 no. You, uh, uh, you would get you no. would get one bonus die just because it's nighttime, it's dark, and no one's really looking for you. You would get two if you passed that oh, disguise so check. Oh, so then I can roll another die on my disguise. Just the stealth. Uh, roll another die on your stealth. Uh, yeah. Um. And, and what is your stealth if you have nothing in it? What's the base stealth? Um, the base I think is twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Fingers 20%. crossed, gaggle. Eighty. <laughs> so roll your tens again. Eighty. Okay. Right? Was that the lower of the two? Did you already do that? And then the lower was forty. So no, it's like Hugsley's real clunky. Okay. Okay, but okay. so not horrible. What else? What else do we have? So we have one extreme Sorry. success. We have one. Uh, so uh uh, but uh Benny got an extreme success. Hugsley failed. Uh, how did Sweetie do? I rolled a 63 over. Okay, so two 60. failures and an extreme success. How about Ooh, Buddy? Okay, that's a 10. <laughs> yeah, you can still you can push a roll and you can use luck. Sweetie, Remember that, guys. You yeah, have those are, 60 those are all in stealth? Sure. Okay. You're not 60 in okay. stealth. I'm very sneaky. Um, I'm very small. I'm going to use some luck on that one. I'm going to use three. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm going to use three of my luck to take it down to 60. Okay, excellent. All right, great. So so two successes, two, uh, one success, one extreme success, one failure. Buddy, where are you? I am a 10 under 25. Okay, so that's a hard. that's a, a hard success. Yeah. And how about Buddy? Uh, 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 I got a... Dickie. <laughs> All right. I got a 39. I, okay, okay. Great. I have some curiosity okay. that needs satiating. Can I ask can okay. I ask what Sweetie does to get that the curb that 3 points off her stealth? What does that look like for her luck roll? So, I think the way the way I see it, luck rolls don't really require like an RP justification. That's just you getting lucky. Like luck is treated as a resource in this game. So, like, I don't know, maybe uh, uh, as far as how it looked, like maybe she was about to step yeah, on a loud yeah, stick. Yeah, I want to see what Campbell and, thinks. And so. just happened to look down. Yeah, so Campbell, do you, uh, if 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 there's anything that's not required by any means, but if there's anything that you think in, in in any way that you got lucky, then feel free. Oh yeah, well I mean some options were just offered. I I think it's like as simple as like I'm wearing like a. a like a pale yellow floral house dress <laughs> and i'm like oh oh shit and a hu huge purse and take out like a, a dark like a little jacket or some like a little sweater and just like blend and, in a and hugsley turns sure, around sure. and goes mm -hmm. that's a lovely color on you sweetie Thank you. I'm getting quite a lot of attention today. It's a <laughs> when Hugsley goes, don't get it twisted now. <laughs> 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 all right um all right follow 
me. Yeah, so cum- cumulatively, you have all done more than well enough to make your way to uh, the barn, quite confident that you haven't been noticed. Uh, as as it was last time, the the main sort of sliding door is is not locked. Um, you are welcome to make your way in, unless you'd like to look around more before you do. Can I just listen at the door first to see if there's anybody inside? Sure. Oh, can, can I do that as well? No, I'd love to help Yeah, you. absolutely. You can both You can I'm, both do a listen roll. A- anyone can ears. do a listen roll I'm at the front door. Yeah. Yeah. Like. yeah. Wow. That might do it. Right. Wow. All right. Uh, All right, 54 mm-hmm. under 60. So a hard, uh, one success. That is a 7 under 45. So uh, an Rocks! extreme success. Yep. Uh, uh, extreme or, or hard? That's extreme. Well, 7 times 5. It is extreme. Okay. Um, and then... Um, anybody else want to be all uh, successful? Very unsuccessful. I rolled a 39. I, don't, I can't find it. Okay. That's okay. Over. Well, okay. So, so I failed. The base, the yeah. base is 20. So keep of our okay. Lord. I'm going to do this. Hugsley, Hugsley yes. rolled a 70. Uh, so he, he failed. His listen is like a 60. So he's going to go to listen and he fails miserably. And, and then instead he's going to put an eye out and he's going to do a spot hidden to see if he can infer anything about the surroundings. Okay. And that is successful. It's a regular success. Okay. Um, there are, in fact, tire tracks going around to the back of the barn. Um, and those of you, even those of you who uh, had the best, the most luck with your listen, uh, do not hear anything. I don't hear anything. I think we should just go for it. I didn't hear anything either. Oh. All right. Bunny, <laughs> me, me and Benny both at the same time yeah. go. Yeah, <laughs> Benny, buddy, get you want to get this door open? I'll cover you. And, and I, before they I'm ready, my rifle. My gun that you gave before me. they do anything, before they do anything, yeah. Husley goes. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear anything. I got distracted. Did y'all see these tire tracks that are stretching around to the back of the barn? Did you see that? Like from. A- Buddy oh, takes a look at the them. truck. Yeah. Can I, uh, Keeper, can I make a check to see if I recognize those tires? Like if they're truck tires or like a Model T tire? Or... Sure, sure. Well, we, who are you? <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> for, for, uh... You know, if you get stuck in the mud, the front tire spins, the back tire does not spin. Uh, Dickie and I saw the car pull up, right? So we can just tell them what it was. You all saw uh, uh, the car pull up. Which, well, which car well, did you no, see the pull up? The first time we saw it, when they dumped the body back there. Well, they didn't go around back. They they, uh, they, they put the body in the that's front correct. of the barn. Uh, 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 buddy, yes, you may go ahead and, and okay. make that roll. And, and what, which, what would that be? Um... Um, you know what? It, it could be, it could be, uh, spot hidden would be a good choice. You could also, since we're talking about like car parts, I would take a uh, mechanical repair, uh, okay. uh, maybe education. I don't know if All I would right. take intelligence. Can I though. go against my education? Is right. yeah. anything to, since I wrote a successful spot hidden and drew their attention wow. to the hidden that benefits <laughs> his role? Uh, well, let's it. see what he rolled first, that but maybe. 54. Under 57. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so you you sort of get down and lean over and kind of inspect the tire tracks. And it's, it's hard to tell, but boom, 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 looking, boom. looking, but looking back at the truck, um, you see that the tires on the truck are perhaps a little thicker or maybe a little bit more rugged. Yeah. This doesn't look like that. You, you, you get the impression that these are streetcar tires. Good eye, Hugsley. Good eye, Hugsley. Oh, wow. Thank, thank you, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Let's uh, let's check that out. Let's go around to the back side. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you all, do you all, all go right. together? All right. Y'all keep, y'all keep quiet. Well, do, want, right. do we all want to go back there? Or do we still want to go in this way? Because it doesn't sound like there's anybody here. I think it's safer if we all stay all together right. as a group. Lead the way, Captain. I heard of a group once that split the body multiple times. It didn't work, work out great. <laughs> <laughs> That's all about. Wow. 
Wow. No, that's super meta. That's like that some real meta strong... is meta gets. <laughs> that's real strong meta. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I mean, because we because we need to we I mean the back of the barn is where we need to get to anyway, right? Because that's where the lock. Door yeah, is, like correct. I you know I, I I there can be multiple entrances. the The big front doors are the ones that you were just at. You see the tire tracks. They're sort of leading around the back, maybe along a wall that does not have any other entrances. But there are other ones along the side and back along the front. But regardless, um, you make your way around the back, uh, following these tracks. And uh, so, yeah, you, you're you're standing in front of these two main sliding doors, and you follow these tracks around the back along the wide, wide, uh, you know, red wall that makes its way. That is, the, you know, that makes up the side of the barn. As you cross that final corner, following the tracks, you see their origin, which is a car that by now I think you all probably recognize as Arnold McDermott's Packard Twin Six. I throw, I do like the, I do my, you know, my, my, my instincts just kick in and I do like the holy <laughs> command, you know, for like. Alt. And Buddy recognizing right. that will put his arm out. And, and, we'll like, and, and Hugsley, having done all his reading, knows exactly what that is. And he goes... <laughs> and then Benny just stumbles past everyone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Benny goes, you love nice car! car. <laughs> yeah. is, uh, uh, can we see anyone in the car? Uh, you can see that the car is empty. Is there a door at the back of the barn? Um, uh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can we, uh, uh, so I'll put one, one finger over and, uh, let's, let's creep over to the door at the back. Okay. okay. So yes, making your way into the barn, you, you very quietly, you know, we'll, we'll let you keep those same sort of stealth scores as before. Uh, you make your way into the barn and entering that side door, it is as silent as, you were, you know, as you thought it was before when you listened at the main doors. Um, You see just a quiet, still, empty barn. And then to your right, that padlocked door. Ah, okay, okay. So we're in, okay. Uh, Can can we listen at that door? Yes, you can. And see if there's Mm -hmm. anyone inside. Anybody who wants to come. Somebody else do it. I'll listen, I'm I'm good at listening. Or or, or would you prefer? Yeah. Anybody who wants to can. All right. I want. Oh. I just hey, made it. That's a. Uh, he's got good. He's got good ears. This this buddy. That's a thirteen under nice. forty five. I, I, I got okay. an eight under sixty. Nice. Ooh, that's okay. That's a, Extreme success. I just okay. made it with a nineteen mm-hmm. under twenty. All right. So the, for even even for the best uh, of those, even for the best success, which is an extreme success. Can't hear anything. What? <laughs> Up the back there, Dickie. Doesn't sound like anything. Uh, all right. How heavy duty does this padlock look? Um, pretty heavy. It looks like it's built for you know a particular key. Uh, it does have a keyhole on it. The chains are all fairly thick. Um, thick. but thick with two C's. Um. <laughs> But you are all welcome, anyone who wants to, to do, uh, let's say, um, if you wanted to, it would be really hard, but you could try a strength roll to break the chain or the padlock. You could do uh, a a firearms check if you wanted to fire a gun at it. You could do, there are are numerous ways that you can go about this, Um, but it it looks like, um... you know, it's not impenetrable by any means. It's it's just, it's a heavy lock. Buddy uh, is going to look at Benny and go. All right, buddy, come here. And he's gonna he's gonna put his thirty eight, the head of the thirty eight, in between like the metal lock and the. Is it like a padlock? Does it look like a padlock? Yep, it's like a big padlock. So he's gonna put the gun and give it leverage, and then he's gonna go. All right, buddy, I want you to drop. I, I want you to kick the shit out of this lock as hard as you can. <laughs> I want you to drop it like a top. <laughs> drop it on the lock. So, and and I'm gonna lift leverage. So, me and Benny will try a strength check both, and, and give yeah. it a shot. Check yeah, no, that makes sense. I think, uh, you know, we'll 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 go with uh, whoever has the higher level of success. Well, so essentially, you're rolling this with okay. advantage. Um, okay. But yeah, go ahead. You can both roll strength. 
All right, just you know, try to keep a, things quiet. We have like a, a cloth or something we can wrap around it. Uh, oh, uh, here, take my sweater. That's a good call. Nice, that's great, a good yeah. call. And he, and he holds the sweater and he goes, oh, a really nice sweater. Oh, thank you. Please and be then he will look over his sweet nice sweater. looks real nice on you. <laughs> I thought the same exact thing. She looked. And so he'll look, he'll look at Benny and he'll go, he'll look at Benny and he'll go, all right, ready? Oh, I am fucking One. ready. Sorry. I just rolled yeah. a five <laughs> under 70. So wow. So that only in success. Hype Fuck, train yes. right now. Wow. <laughs> so he's ready. Wow. He's ready. All right. So I went like this. Linus Rampart says, says hashtag drop it on oh. the lock. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tyler, enters, Tyler a rage. <laughs> enters a rage. He's back. He's he's back in the ring. He's back in the ring. He the bruises from the He he flashes back to that the night Hebrew in the ring. The hammer coming in with the left hook. <laughs> uh, yeah. He so he he um he flashes back to the night in the ring with against Charlie Coletti and with just the one time, perhaps the only time in his career that he managed to get off a punch that was both quick. Or, or that was that was all of the above. <laughs> Quick, powerful, and precise. And there were, there were, I was about to say like these two things: <laughs> one, two, and three. Yeah, all, all three of those, and sexy, oh, yeah. all four. <laughs> um, <laughs> D. Yeah. So so with well, okay. So it's not a punch though. So you're because you're trying to kick it, but like that same mindset where you have that like that precision in your in your in your brain and your body, and you get that foot up, and you just like right where it needs to go just give de- deliver exactly enough power to knock out your opponent and as your foot makes contact with the lock you all just hear a <clears throat> as the padlock wow. clicks out of the of the base of it you did it hug hugs the ghost on, uh, you did shoulder. it i put a hand on Fuck Benny's shoulder y'all. y'all did it yeah uh, we got to we it looks <laughs> like we got to bring you out of retirement buddy pulls there, the old pal. buddy pulls the 38 puts it back in takes the shawl off the lock Looks at the show and goes, "Not a scratch." Hands it back to. <laughs> yes. Back to pull out you, pull out that gun, which which you you know, unless you it, at first glance does not look at all like it's just been used as some kind of lever. But maybe if you look really closely, you just see like the tiniest little like chip in the in the surface. Not anything that you think would affect the the e- efficacy of the weapon. Yeah. But just a little a little Uh-oh. um a little uh. Trophy, Uh-oh. a little Uh-oh. battle. I feel like Kay's yeah, gonna keep the information for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Just flavor. All right, just team. flavor. What's All right, your flavor? So buddy pulls Sorry, the lock. What's your flavor? Gather round. Spread out. Spread Gather out. round. Should we spread out a little bit? Well, just in case. We don't know what we're gonna we don't know what we're uh, gonna yeah. find on the other side of that door. But before we go in there, we're a team now. Alright? Whatever we find on the other side of that door. We face it together. Agreed. Man. Agreed. And yeah. Benny kind of cracks his neck and rolls his shoulders and goes, "I'll lead the way." <gasps> and Buddy, uh, Buddy takes the padlock off and he kind of lets the chain <laughs> fall to the ground and he just he kind of turns around and he goes, "Smoke him if you got him." <laughs> and he's gonna and he's gonna just kind of open <laughs> open the door. And Benny go. will step in. And and Hugsley will adjust his <gasps> glasses. <laughs> so, so as you as you all open, yeah, this looking door, for a threat. What little, what little light that there is in this barn as you open the door with, oh, no. uh, with with not a loud creak but a creak. That little bit of light pours into the room, and just one by one, reveals. First, a woman sitting against the wall, chained to the what? wall. Fuck. An older, an older woman who uh, anyone from Mayfield would recognize as um, an old widow by the name of Adair Woods. She's just sitting there. Changed to the wall, staring dead ahead. As the door opens more, the light continues to move across the floor and the walls along this back room. It's a very small room. 
you see another person in a row with her, again chained to the wall. Another woman. You recognize her as Annabelle Hearn, a waitress who works at Elmer's Steakhouse. And then finally, as the door opens all the way and the light plays against the rest of this room, which is probably only 10 feet by 10 feet, you see, in order, Arnold and Gladys McDermott. <gasps> likewise, likewise, sitting on the floor, chained to the wall, staring straight ahead of them, of, of themselves. You open this door, and they are all just sitting, totally silent. They don't even turn their heads to look at you when you open the door, save for Gladys. Gladys turns to look, and her eye lands on Sweetie. She wants to buy some Avon. And her right eye swells. No. And she starts breathing heavily. And she tries to stand up. And she fights against these chains. As she's just looking at Sweetie with that same hatred in her eyes that she was looking at you with the other night. She lunges and lunges against the chains. But she stays silent. And you can all find out what's going on with all of them. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! We are all gonna die! Uh, 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 I need my safety scarf! I need my safety scarf! <laughs> oh, no. Quick! Oh, I wasn't looking at the chat. Oh, yay. Okay. There it is. I love that. Like all those all caps, like, what are you doing? That's like my favorite part of every stream. Tara, you have to go back to the beginning of this stream to see what Kay did. (laughs) Kay did a bad. (laughs) No, you don't. You don't. Uh, (laughs) Well, yes. Um, As a... Oh. Yeah, some some things are going down, oh. as we have established. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, big thank you to my investigators. We had the whole crew tonight. Uh, Trevor as Dickie Harrow, Ned as Buddy Wilson, Tyler as Benny Kaplan, Dan as Hugs Hugsley Lacker, and Campbell as Sweetie McClintock. Hugs for Hugsley, sweets for Sweetie. Dicks for um, Dickie. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Goons, truly, I love you so much. I say it every week, but you guys are just such amazing role players. I, I have such a fun time playing with all of you. Um, who boy, uh, uh, friends, gaggle, come join us on Sunday. We're doing our our uh, our weekly live listen to the Strodcast at noon on YouTube. Um, we will be back here, same time, same place, on Twitch next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. To find out what's going on in this back room of the barn with these four familiar faces. Yes, thank you, Tyler. We're going to go ahead and check out C4 Labs. Tyler's uh, lurking. This is um, the only time I roll absolutely. good. And all well, of thank, you, thank you so much to C4 tower. Labs for these awesome dice towers and awesome dice trays. Head on over to C4Labs.com. You can use Goon15 to get 15% off all items on their shop. That is correct. So thank you to them for sponsoring us, and thank you to them for sending us all of that sweet and, swag. And thank you to them for trying um, to snickle. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, we we'll have to check in with Paris right, right. and see, uh, wow. see how she handled happen. the snickle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good luck. Good luck. I just, you know, it's it's a, it's an experience. Um, <laughs> I hope you rolled well on your sanity check. Oh, oh my God. Before we close out the evening... Everybody give me a sanity what? check. A sanity check? Hey! Oh. Everybody, everybody yes. give me a sanity check as you open the door and you see oh. this horrendous sight. Oh, man. Do we have to roll higher or lower? For a sanity check, you oh. want to roll low. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, nice. I'm good. I've, seen, right. I've seen worse. Wow. 22, 22 under 51. Right. 59 <laughs> under 60. I'm good. All right. Uh, Kind of close. Under 65. I'm good. I'm staying. Uh 75 over 50. (laughs) Okay. Um, Tyler, I would like you to first roll uh, uh, an intelligence check. Roll against your intelligence intelligence score for me. It should be very high. I'm not a smart guy. Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) Roll low, Tyler. Roll low. 
<laughs> I rolled a 66. My intelligence, I think, is 100. <laughs> I can't be right. Is that, is that right? <laughs> Ned said that no, can't be right. <laughs> is that what, what is intelligence? It's one of the main oh, attributes. It's one of the I main want characteristics your character of the Something that I times my intelligence by two for. My intelligence is fifty. Okay, so you rolled you rolled yes, over your intelligence? Six six over fifty. Okay. So failing to realize the gravity of what <laughs> yes. you are looking at. It pays to be dumb. <laughs> you do not real you do not lose you do not lose any sanity. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like Okay, okay, it's, okay, okay. It's I'm not like, always hey, uh, does this look funny to you? <laughs> <laughs> and also why are you guys and, all hanging out in a barn and also like, I have I forgotten really to do this in, me. I uh I, I have forgotten to do this in past streams but uh but this time I will not forget everyone roll uh a, an improvement check against your luck so if you roll a d100 and it's higher than your luck score add a uh I think you said d10 oh, is, so is the improvement score now I want to roll high yes oh higher Yes, if you get right. if you get above your luck, luck, right? Yeah, if you if you roll a d100 and it's higher than your luck score, equal to or higher than your luck score, you can roll a d10 and add well, that be... to your luck score. Nope. All right. Ninety-three over started. seventy-five. So, uh... Nicely done. All right, so roll that d10 and add yeah, to your luck. Okay. I'm a sixty-nine I'm so... over sixty. <laughs> hey, hey, nice. Um, well, I'm so glad that I didn't forget to do that for all of you this time. Um, well done, everybody. Uh, uh, all the stuff we said before about you know how much I love you guys and C4 Labs and and come see us next time all still stand. Um, that that is still true even after you did so well on those sanity checks and luck scores. Um, so yeah, go ahead and, and check out our, our info in our Twitch channel since you're here. If you're watching this on YouTube or listening to it on our, well, if you're listening to it on our patron only RSS feed, then you already know all the stuff about us. So good for yes. you. If you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube five days from right this second in the, in the future, welcome to the future. Tell me how it is and check out our link tree for information uh, on where else you can find us. Um, and uh, yeah, we do have a Patreon. The Patreon gets you access to our Discord, where we are hanging out with all you guys every day, chatting with you, and and telling, talking about TTRPGs and a whole host of other stuff. So come hang out with us if you're able to uh, support us directly through Patreon. Great. If not, you know where else to find us. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitch. We're on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Lots of places where you don't have to pay any money to enjoy our company and for us to enjoy our company. Um, I think that's all I'll I have to say, this. goons. I'll add this. And if you enjoy this, Whee! make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're listening to our Stradcast on whether it's Apple or Spotify, uh, giving a like and review helps us a ton. If you listen to it on YouTube, giving a like and commenting helps us a ton. Mm -hmm. So show your love, goons. Absolutely. And we will see you all Sunday and Wednesday. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Good night, Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Love you, everybody.